Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of Greater Kalamazoo. Partnering with Bronson Healthcare, Kalamazoo Valley Community College has embedded itself in the community, promoting health, careers, and entrepreneurship. See how the culinary arts are making a wave here in the Kalamazoo community. Okay, Brian, let's talk about the students first. Uh, what brings a student to your program? Um, well, there's a big need for education in the brewing world. Um, as this industry keeps growing, um, you know, it's a consumable product. Um, the, the higher sciences need to be involved also. And so students come here to gain more knowledge. Um, they also just come here to learn more about beer. And um, a lot of people just enjoy home brewing and um, trying to take it to the next level. Tell me a little more about the actual artistic aspect of making beer? Um, well, with brewing, there's a whole variety of different malts, hops, yeasts even that go into making beer, and there's a lot of different components that can create different flavors, um, just depending on how you, how you produce it. So um, when it gets to the creative side of things, you can have chocolate malts, you can have different base malts. Um, your yeast will give you you know, fruity flavors or sulfur flavors or clean flavors. Um, your hops, they, they really impart different aromatics and piney or citrusy or earthy or woody. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different things. And don't even get me started on wild beer production. Now, that's when you're actually inoculating different organisms, um, lactobacillus, pediococcus, that actually can give it a sour flavor and give like descriptors like horse blanket or sweaty feet to a beer. People love it. Um, Brewing has a very creative side um, that people are really starting to, to get into contact with. Okay, Brian, we're in the brewery lab here, and we have a couple of student creations in, during the process, and we're going to make some tests, but we got to do some things first. Yep, yep, so during fermentation, uh, we're taking sugar, yeast is fermenting it into CO2 and alcohol. And so while that's happening, we're lowering our sugar level and raising our alcohol level, so it'll give us different readings on our hydrometer. Um, basically, the hydrometer is taking the density um, into effect on what's going on with the brew. So um, what we'll do is we'll take the smoked porter that one of our students made and um, we'll degas it. Okay. That's Show removing me how to do that. Yep, that's removing the CO2 out of solution. So you dump it back and forth. Um, about 30 times is typically what I do. 30 times? Um, we won't have to do that though. That's that's a little excessive for this one. The, the fermentation's finishing up pretty much I'm right now. Already. Am I doing um, it well enough or yeah, so? Yeah, it's perfect. You're not making a mess. I usually pour it all over myself yeah. when I'm doing it. Um, so once you're done, it's probably good. Am I ready? You'll take that, carefully dump it in. Tell me when. Uh, That's probably good. Okay. And we'll, we'll take, take our hydrometer, we'll drop it in nice and slow, and at the end give it just a little turn. Like right now? Yep. Okay, and once that settles down, it's got a little bit of foam up there still. We'll blow it off, and we'll look at our reading. So if you look, 1.00, that's a specific gravity of water. That's your very top number. And so you just count down the amount of um, lines there. And it looks like we're at about 1.015 gravity, um, specific okay. gravity. So that tells us we're at about 3.75 degrees Play-Doh. So this beer is pretty close to being done. Um, if we were at zero Play-Doh, uh, it would be complete water at that point. There'd be no sugar, no sweetness left in it. So we're pretty close to finishing up the fermentation on this. And what do you see the students doing with this type of, uh, of degree? We have such a diverse student group that's in this, um, in this program. You know, we have some people just want to get better, but some people, you know, we have multiple students that plan to open their own brewery. We have multiple students that just want to get into a brewery, want to work in the environment because it's a pretty cool place to work. So John, let's talk about the program itself. Is it primarily for the students to get a career or where, where is there many, many reasons for it? Yeah, there's many reasons for, uh, for our program for our students. Uh, this is uh, an associate's degree in culinary arts in sustainable food systems. Uh, and it's that last half that's really unique to our program where students actually learn where their food comes from how it's grown, uh, and all the safety aspects from the farm through processing and into the kitchen and onto our guests' table. Uh, why is it called culinary arts? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's an arts program. Uh, it, 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 there's a base of science and physics uh, that make up what 
cooking food is, is all about, but it's, it's the art of managing all that um, and bringing in uh, the ingredients in such a unique way um, that makes it an art form. Now what about this one? This is a completed beer. This is um, an IPA that was brewed by the Saturday group of students. Um, it's very hop forward. They, they, they went pretty crazy on it. It's, it's very good though. Um, if you'd We're like to try, try it, actually. yeah, if you'd like to try yeah, it. I would. I always wanted to do a spit take on camera. So. <laughs> um, now, at school here, we teach moderation. Um, <laughs> good. We're not drinking full pints in every sample, about three ounce three ounces of uh, beer every single hour. That's, right. well, not every hour. Wow. Maximum of that Where do I hour. sign up? <laughs> so, All right, cheers. cheers. What do you think? That's not bad at all. That's yeah. very good. Very nice. Cool. What flavor is this one? I mean, what, what's in it? What did the students come up with? So this is a very hop forward IPA. Um, <clears throat> they use a very, very light malt body, so you get more of the hops showing through. And they used a whole mess of um, hops from Amarillo to Centennial to Wakatu, Sriracha Ace. These are hops that come all the way from New Zealand um, that we use for brewing. So it has a very, very definite nose to it. You, you can really pick up, if you take that smell in, you can really pick up oh, the yeah. difference in, um, in the hops there versus the taste. Well, I give them a passing grade for sure. Sweet.